Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today's topic is EMT. EMT, which stands for epithelial mesenchymal transition, is a biological process which allows a polarized epithelial cell to undergo multiple biochemical changes that enable it to assume a mesenchymal cell phenotype. But what is EMT needed for? Epithelial cells are said to be differentiated cells. They already have a peculiar shape and organization, they form a solid tissue, and they cannot migrate. Mesenchymal cells, instead, can move throughout the organism, and since they have a more fluid morphology, they are able to differentiate into other cells, such as fibroblasts, myocytes, adipocytes, or chondrocytes. What is exactly the difference between an epithelial phenotype and a mesenchymal phenotype? An epithelial cell, first, is characterized by a polarity, meaning that it has an apical side and a basolateral side, with different characteristics. It is also really stable, as it is part of a tissue in which cells are tightly opposed one to the other and anchored by cell junctions, which components appear as markers for this cell type. Concerning the junctions, the ones that we that confer the most stability are tight junctions. Their markers are Z01 and Hochulden. Zonula adherens and desmosomes also contribute with other markers, such as E cadherin, desmoplakin, and cytokeratins. On the other end, a mesenchymal cell does not possess a functional polarity, and it is not equipped with cell junctions but only focal adhesions, which are specializations needed for the cell to interact with the surroundings. It is usually spindle-shaped, and it differentiates during embryonic life into cardiomyocytes, fibroblasts, and other cell types. When it comes to mesenchymal markers, the main one is n cadherin and we can find it in cardiomyocyte cell junctions. Collagen type 1, fibroblast-specific protein 1, Vimentin and alpha smooth muscle protein are other mesenchymal markers found also in smooth muscle cells. These markers help us identify whether we are in the epithelial or in the mesenchymal state. The research on EMT focuses particularly on E. cadherin. E. cadherin is a protein present in adherent junction and it is an oncosuppressor because it counteracts the uncontrolled cell growth. Since E. cadherin is needed for the cell to remain attached to the surrounding ones, the presence of this molecule tells the cell that there's no further space for the cell to expand, therefore mitosis cannot occur. The progressive loss of E. cadherin is a key step for EMT. Degradation of E. cadherin affects the gene expression of other molecules. First, the production of E. cadherin itself decreases. Second, the production of fashion decreases, due to a loss of polarity of the epithelial cell. Third, an increase in the production of metalloproteinases, or MMPS, which play a major role in the detachment of the cell from the tissue, since they degrade the extracellular matrix. Another factor, which is the TGF beta-1, or transforming growth factor beta-1, is responsible for mediating the EMT process at various steps. There are three kinds of EMTs. The first kind of EMT that we are taking in consideration is the developmental or physiological one. This process is particularly important during the formation of the embryo. We can observe at this stage the transformation of epithelial cells to mesenchymal and the redifferentiation of mesenchymal to epithelial cells. Both of those processes are necessary for gastrulation, the process which converts the bilaminar embryonic disc into a trilaminar one, as well as later stages. The second type of EMT is the one present in a non-oncogenic pathological condition, speaking clearly either wounds, so-called acute injuries, or fibrosis the chronic injuries. In the first case, part of the epithelial cells present in an organ become fibroblasts through EMT. 
They synthesize and arrange collagen in order to provide a framework to maintain the organ's integrity. The increase in production leads to modification of the organ structure. So we can observe some scars of connective tissue in an organ after a trauma. This happens, for example, in the skin, in the heart after a stroke, or in the ovaries after ovulation, although it is still a physiological condition. Chronic injuries have various causes as a persistent inflammation of the organ. They lead to an increase in the presence of fibroblasts and subsequently of collagen as fibroblasts secreted. Even though the majority of these fibroblasts is already present in the tissue or has migrated there, some of them originate from epithelial cells through EMT and subsequent differentiation. The overaccumulation of the new fibroblasts obtained by EMT and the continuous production of extracellular matrix leads to fibrosis and consequent loss of function of the organ affected. The third type of EMT is oncogenic. It leads to carcinoma. Movable cancer cells created through this mechanism form metastasis. In cancer, EMT is a notural process. Cells can either show the fine mesenchymal or epithelial phenotype or an intermediate one. This transformation can involve only part of the tumor. This aspect is very advantageous for cancer cells. They do not have to respect the same rules as mesenchymal or epithelial cells. Neoplastic cells have high invasive potential. They can use a single cell colonization, that means individual cells complete EMT and then migrate to the surrounding tissue, or collective colonization. They, as a cluster, detach from epithelial tissue and then invade other tissues.